everyone. I'm Sam Beldy. I turned 17 10 days ago, and I have autism. I may not look different from you. I go to school. I do homework. I love to play music. I enjoy playing video games. I love to follow sports and to compete. I love hanging out with my friends. I can feel things just like you. I can be happy, sad, frustrated, angry, confused, tired. Basically, I'm an average teenager. But life is not always easy for me. And it's definitely not average. Having autism is like wearing a label. People treat me differently. Sometimes I can understand why, and sometimes I don't. I struggle with things like wanting to be cool in front of my friends and other people, taking a joke when I think it's serious, knowing whether someone's making fun of me or not, or understanding certain questions on a test or work. I also tend to misinterpret things or make big deals out of things. And even though it's a challenge, I work every day for people to accept me. You don't have to have autism to want to be part of things or want to fit into things. Nobody likes to be excluded, made fun of, or feel like they don't belong somewhere. I have been cyberbullied, talked behind my back, excluded, and made fun of. And I think this happens because the other kids get annoyed with me because I don't understand what they're talking about, or that I'm trying too hard to fit in, or that I have to ask them to repeat so that I can understand. When people with autism tend to do things that may seem awkward, it may not be on purpose. It's because their brains don't work like a regular brain. An autistic brain doesn't have the usual patterns of a regular brain. That means someone with autism might struggle with things like emotion, creativity, judgment, and speech. And even though it's a challenge, there are some people with autism that are geniuses at things like math, music, science, or maybe gifted in other ways. There are some people that think that people with autism are not smart. They're wrong. People, with, uh, people on the spectrum can graduate high school, go to university, have great jobs, have friends, get married, and have a family. When I was a baby, I was perfectly normal, but I wasn't able to speak until the age of five. I didn't like to be touched. I didn't like loud noises. So, I had therapy to help me speak. I had to get used to being touched. My mom ran the blender and vacuum for hours every day so that I could get used to loud noises. And it all worked. I can handle sensory issues. I'm part of a rock band, and I get to speak at TEDx Laval. In school, I hear a lot of people using autism as a joke whenever someone's acting stupid with their friends. But from my point of view, they still have a lot to learn. Because what they may not know is that we are all slightly autistic. Everybody is different or can be misunderstood. Some people may be suffering from depression or being alone or having problems at home. And whether we all have strengths and weaknesses, and whether you admit it or realize it, everybody does something that someone else thinks is weird, awkward, or annoying. I've shared my experience with you today, not because I want you to feel bad for me, and not because I want you to feel sorry for me. What I hope happens next is for people to look past autism as a label and a person. A person who may be scared, worried, or happy, or who hates homework and loves music and sports. A person who may be different, but who's more like you than you know. From the words of Bono, the lead singer of the band U2, to 
To be one, to be united, is a great thing. But to respect the right to be different is maybe even greater. Thank you.